And now, Inside Pushing Daisies with the Stars. You touch murder victims, you ask who killed them, you touch them again, they go back to being dead, and then you collect the reward? That's it in a nutshell. Pushing Daisies. It's funny, and it's old-fashioned, and it's not like anything else on TV. I'm Ned, who can touch dead things back to life, and I make pies, <laughs> so I'm multi-talented. <laughs> it's magical, it's mystical, it's whimsical, it's silly. Every time I get a script, I just thrill. I mean, it's very exciting, because you never know what's going to happen. Who's smoking? You. Oh, how rude of me. I'm dreadfully sorry. This can't be good for your lungs. It's enchanting. It's life as we would like it to be. What is so hard about that to understand? I think Ned is best when he's under pressure, when uh, he's uncomfortable with the world around him. You could do it loosening up a bit. I don't do loose. I prefer tightly wound. Kristen is the silliest and funniest little actress. Oh! This is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> Unless that's not a rolling pin under your apron. Kristen Chenoweth is genius. Like, she is an incredible, incredible actress. And whenever I come to a blocking with her, I know that I've got to bring my A game, because if I don't, I'm not going to be in the scene. <laughs> talking about Chuck, aren't we? We're talking about Chuck, me and him. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, because this don't concern you. Shoo. Shy always brings something new to a scene. Anybody ever ask you why you wear that sweater? My niece gave me this sweater last Christmas. That thing's ugly in a chipmunk's ass. It means the sweater. Not your niece. I've fallen in love with Anna Friel. We got along so so well on the pilot, and we've become really, really close friends. And it's a good thing because we can't touch each other on the show. So when we look at each other in the eye, we have to really mean it. We have to really fall in love. It's full of romance. Any moment that he's around her could be death for her. And it's sensible for Chuck to go as far away from that as possible, but they choose to be together because they can't live without each other. It's that classic moonlighting, will they, won't they? We won't, because if I do, she's dead. So a kiss is out of the question? Mm. I think there's a procedural element of the show that people understand, but then it kind of turns it on its head and it's really funny. <laughs> and you don't really see that on CSI or Law & Order. Mm. Hi. This may seem like asking the obvious, but were you trampled by a horse? Yeah. The show's got a really unique visual style. It's colorful, it's playful. The lighting is wonderful, the costumes are wonderful, the editing is wonderful. It's a feast for an actor. I'm playing a, a one-eyed, agoraphobic, synchronized swimmer on antidepressants. It allows the characters to explore uh, how dark death can be and how complicated love can be. Pushing daisies fills a need in people's hearts. They want something positive now. It's a powerfully optimistic and life-affirming. Pushing daisies gives us hope. What do you need to be happy? You. Pushing Daisies, season one available on DVD September 16th. Full episodes available at abc.com. And mark your calendars for an all new season premiering Wednesday, October 1st on ABC.